Oh, hello everybody. It's Aaron. Welcome back to the ranch. It's a beautiful February day in Oklahoma. I think it's 61 degrees right now. Something like that. I need to put out an APB for our dog, Sadie Adler. I was putting the hay out and she never stays where she's supposed to. So I think she's over at the neighbor's house over there. I know. So I want to show you something that I thought about, I tried. Um, before I do that, peep the inside of this barn. Look at all that space. I got everything cleared out a while ago. And today, I went and got some lumber. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to make a little pen inside the barn here. My biggest problem is since this is metal posts and sheet metal, I didn't really know how to attach to it. So since it's not concrete, it's dirt, well dirt and some crusher run, I, I'm just going to dig some posts and just kind of build it like a fence. It's going to be about 15 by 30. And I'm going to put um, plywood on that gap between the lowest two. Uh, I don't think those are joists, supports, whatever they are. Sheep lean on everything. As a matter of fact, I can't really show you, but they've been leaning on the outside of the barn under the lean-to, and it's dented in. And since it's screwed on from the outside, I thought it would be better to put some plywood along the bottom. The guy that was here before us, he did some already. Kind of like that. It was like that when we moved in, but I thought that wouldn't be a bad idea. And then I can, um, I can build off of that if I need to. I'm going to make, I think I'm going to make six five by five, uh, like lambing pens. And then there will be like a, the other 15 by 15 will just be an open area. And I think I might, um, make a, a, a eight foot gate in here so I can fork a bale of hay in. Speaking of, I just put out two more bales. I put one on our back porch since three of the sheep are there. That's actually what I want to show you. But we still got, I ordered 15 bales. We still have seven. I've put out eight bales. Um, granted, most of the winter I was not putting two bales out at a time. Um, I was only putting the one bale on the side of the barn. But I figured it would be easier since I've got those sheep in the backyard rather than uh, walk out with a with a pail and fill it full of hay every day <laughs> I'll just put one on the back porch. So let me show you that you can tell me if I'm crazy or not You gonna take a selfie where are you going? Hey, <laughs> come here psst, psst, psst. Come here <laughs> so that's what I've done. I took a hog panel, wrapped it around a bale. It was about a foot short, so technically it's two hog panels. I got some of these adjustable like chain link things. I got six of them, but since I had to use four on these two, I don't have enough to do the one that's out in the lean-to. Oh, look who it is, everybody. I think I'm in the wind. Hold on. Peace. What? Oh, my shirt. Yeah. They can't see that. Oh, peace. Are oh. you ready for your massage? You're going to make it shaky. <laughs> this is very serious ranch business. Oh. 
So they were wasting so much hay, or they have wasted so much hay. I thought that maybe that would help keep it together. It's very dark right now. Yeah. You know, we're Domingo! Da yeah. Flamingo! Anyway, so we attach those two. We'll see if it helps them waste less hay on the porch. Um, and if it does, then I'll do it out in the lean to also. So I don't know um, when I'm going to get this thing built in the barn. But I need to get that trailer back in there so we can go to dinner. So I'm going to leave it there. That was just a quick update. I'm going to aim for quick from now on. Honey, you got anything to say? Hello. She massage. All right, that'll do it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.